Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here once more. And this subject is uh, a vintage street lamp. I promised in the last video that I would show you how I made my street lamp for this this diorama. Uh, just one street lamp in a in a diorama like this sort of I think it sets it off, gives it the right time frame as well as to what you're trying to achieve. Um, so uh, before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel. Can't forget that. <laughs> so subscribe, click that like button and uh, you'll be informed when new videos come along. Uh, so this video is how I went about making this. It costs nothing to make. Zil, zero, zilch, nothing. Um, just a barbecue stick, a piece of cardboard and a biro pen. That's all you need. So I'm sure you've got things like that lying around the house. Uh, so unbeknown to you, you've got uh, a vintage street lamp lying around. All you've got to do is put it all together. Uh, so the rest of the video is or will be how I went about making this. So we'll start with the lantern part. Uh, this is the most difficult. If you can do the lantern, the rest of it is pretty easy. <clears throat> so we need some very thin card. Uh, I normally advocate using the, the cardboard from a cornflake packet, but that, that may even be too thick. So something really, really thin, not paper, but a, a, a very thin card. Okay, so once we've got that, we need a piece about four inches square or what is that? 100 millimeters? Yeah, 100 millimeters square. Then down in one corner, set your compasses. Oh, you need a pair of compasses, by the way. Set your compasses to an inch and a quarter. I can't see. So an inch and a quarter, well, it's going to be an inch and a quarter radius, which is uh, 32 millimetres, I believe. Hang on, let me just check. 32 millimetres. <clears throat> Anywhere down in one corner, strike an arc. Like so. Then we need <clears throat> two inches. Set your compasses to two inches, which is uh, 50 millimeters. And in from the same point, <laughs> if I can find, there it is. If I can find the same point, then strike another arc. Okay, so that's what we need. So from the point there, inch and a quarter, from the point there, two inches. Then we need to draw a line from that same point, and I still can't see it, there, anywhere onto those two arcs, like so. So from the centre point up to there. <clears throat> then from that point, we need to measure five eighths of an inch, or 16 millimetres. From that point on the... Mm, <laughs> from that point on the outer arc you need to measure five eighths of an inch so from there to there five eighths which is 16 millimeters I'm finding this difficult because I've got a, a camera in front of me and it's not easy to do <clears throat> so we need to do that again and again and again so we've got four segments like that then join them all up from that center point to there center point to there one there and one there. So that's what we've got. Now <laughs> starts getting complicated. What we need now is a score line. Now a score line in uh, two millimeter cardboard is 
relatively easy. Don't go all the way through, just, just a slight score so you can bend the card. Uh, with with card this thin, it's a bit more difficult. <laughs> so on the inside three, so just a score that doesn't quite go through. You might want to practice doing that on a, another scrap piece of card. Okay, so we've got three score lines there. So when we come to fold there, um, that's not going to be uh, a problem. Now what we need to do is draw a straight line. We've got a, a slight curve now between these points, but they need to be straight. So straight line there, straight line there, and there, and there hardly makes that much difference really but they do need to be straight and the same here but quite honestly there, there would be little difference between that arc and a straight line so when we've got that we need to make a frame on the inside of those segments so come in about two millimeters on the sides and a straight line there and there. So you need to draw a, a frame on the inside of those segments like that. I, if I do one, and I'll, I'll just go away and do the other because it, it might take a little bit of time. So like that, using the center point still. Straight line. straight line okay so we've got an inside frame to each of these four segments okay when they're done then you need to cut this segment out now it will only do it with an extraordinarily sharp knife it really needs to be a new knife. <laughs> um, so if, if I cut this one segment out, just follow the lines. You can do it freehand quite easily. Turn it round and do the other, other way. And across there. And then back again. Is that going to come out? Probably not. Oh. There we are. So you'd have four of those like so. When you've got that, then we can cut the whole thing out. So cut down there, cut down there. Your four straight lines that way, your four straight lines that way. Okay, so I'll go away and do that and I'll be back in a moment. So when everything's cut out, you should have something looking a bit like that. Um, because you've scored down those lines, it was quite easy then to ease it round into, a, into that shape. So now we need to glaze it. Um, the easiest way, oh, before that, um, we need to paint it black, but quite honestly, it, it's much better uh, if you use a black felt tip and color it black, um, paint might um, might make it a bit uh, too soggy, if you know what I mean, because uh, it's it's a very delicate thing at the moment. Uh, so when you've uh, colored it black, turn it over, and then with a piece of wide sellotape. That's all you need. So the, the wide sellotape that you can get, just plonk that on there like that. Okay. So now we've got the four panels glazed. Then what you need to do is just, again with a sharp knife, cut around 
the, out, the excess around the outside. Okay, when that's done, fold fold it round into its proper shape, and then just put a, a fine piece of uh, glue down one side and glue it together, and we'll have our land our glazed lantern. Okay, so I'll I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I, I need. I need to be able to see it properly. It's not easy for me to do. So I'll cut around this cello tape or scotch tape, whatever, and put it together and gl glue it so uh, we can go on to the next stage. So now we should have something like this. Just folded the uh, <coughs> thing around and then stuck it down one edge. Um, it doesn't matter about the because the sticky side of the scotch tape is going to be this side. It doesn't matter if you get too many fingerprints all over it because it it dulls the uh, scotch tape to look like old glass that you can't quite see through properly. So uh, it takes the stickiness away and it makes it look better. So now we've got a three quarter square on the top. So what we need now are three pieces of two millimeter card. Again, if you haven't got two millimeter, just stick three pieces of uh, cornflake packet card together. That will give you two millimeters. Uh, because it's three quarters, we need it slightly bigger. So. We need a 13 sixteenths square or 22 millimeters square. And then just sand a bevel on all four sides. So that will sit on there like that. Then another piece slightly smaller. Uh, we're coming back an eighth of an inch. So 11 sixteenths square or 18, 18 millimeters square and then again a bevel around the four sides that will stick on there and then the last one is so 9 sixteenths square or uh, 15 millimeters and again sand four bevels on the side so it will look like that when it's glued on properly and then a very very small piece not beveled just keep it square uh, a quarter of an inch or six millimeters and that will sit right on the top like that so I'll glue all those all those together easy enough with hot melt glue it only takes a minute but I'll go away and do that and come back and we'll carry on so all those pieces of cardboard now uh, are all stuck on the top there so that gives us our our lantern our lantern head if you like uh, so put that to one side uh, now we need a barbecue stick now a barbecue stick is the, the right on a 135 scale uh, is the right diameter for the uh, the stand of an old um, lamp post street lamp so it, it may seem thin but it, it, it is the right it is the right uh, diameter uh, so we need a piece five and a half inches long okay and on the end paint it white just the the top half an inch or so paint that white okay then with another piece of card that is fractionally bigger than the bottom of the lantern. It, it's easier to, to drill the hole first and then cut the card. So the hole needs to be the same diameter as the uh, barbecue stick. <clears throat> so we've got a piece then with the, the hole in there and the size is just fractionally bigger than the the base of the lantern and again uh, chamfer the four sides so when that's uh, where are we going that way so we put that 
on the stand and bring that up to the white paint up there and then stick that onto the base of the lantern and we've got a filament what looks like a filament of the, the light uh, in the lantern okay so that will stick on there like so then on the base we need a, a certain shape of base it sort of st starts off the same same diameter as the stand and then uh, comes out so the, the only thing I could think of would, that was that shape is um, a ballpoint pen if you look at the the shape of the, the tip of a ballpoint pen it's exactly the right shape that we need um, I know there'll be variations in, in, in pens but basically uh, we just need this end piece so if we cut off about a quarter of an inch off the end with a junior hacksaw okay that will then sit on the top the very top of the lantern like that okay so we can use that bit and then cut uh, about an inch and a quarter of the rest of it so measure from where you've cut an inch and a quarter back and cut that that will give us that um, it may not be the right size yet I mean obviously the further you cut back the bigger the hole is going to be for the barbecue stick but we don't want to cut back too much otherwise we're going to lose our shape so um, we just need to have I bought the right one? Yeah. Oh, no, I brought the wrong one in. But anyway, just drill that out the same as, as you drilled the cardboard for this. Then we need to drill that out to the right size for the um, barbecue stick to stick in. Uh, then we can just put that into the base like that, stick that in and that will complete our uh, lamp post so I'll, I'll go off go away and do that I've, I've got two one I've drilled out and one I haven't so I brought the wrong one in obviously so I'll finish it off now I'll put the, the base on and the lantern on top of the stand and uh, we'll see what it looks like then okay so I put the tip of the pen on the top there and uh, and the base the, the, the other part of the uh, the uh, ballpoint pen uh, at the, on the base there and that gives the right shape then for uh, for the base of a lamp post uh, so there we are that's that's basically it so I'll, I'll paint it black anyway and uh, it'll look a, a bit better then so uh, I'll paint it and come back so there we are all painted up all uh, street lamp looking um, just a couple of things it looked a bit too long at five and a half inches so I, I cut it down by one inch so the length of your barbecue stick from the top of the filament inside inside the lamp to the bottom um, I recommend about four and a half inches maybe five inches not the five and a half inches that I said and the crossbar some some of these vintage um, lamp posts had a crossbar across there uh, but it's not necessary so uh, it was, it's just just a, an add-on feature that I uh, I put on uh, so there we are um, one vintage um, lamp post easy to make well <laughs> well uh, fiddly shall we say not easy a, a little bit fiddly but uh, once you've got the uh, the top done the lamp the lantern then uh, the rest is, is pretty pretty easy really just cut up a ballpoint pen so if you have enjoyed the uh, video um, please uh, subscribe to the channel there have been and will be lots more videos to to come and to uh, look at my back catalog um, you'll be informed if you press the uh, subscribe button when new videos come along 
uh, in the meantime, have a go yourself. Try one. Um, I've, I've put one on on my last diorama there. It, it only takes one uh, lamp post on a on a diorama to to set it off. You don't need like half a dozen of them all along the street. But one one lamp post makes uh, makes all the difference. I feel it gives it gives the the time frame of also uh, of your diorama in this case World War Two. So you would expect to see lamp posts like that. Um, so yeah, there we are. Just make one. <laughs> uh, yeah, have a go. Uh, let me know. And uh, in the meantime, as always. I wish you happy modeling. <laughs>